guys, welcome to the review, and today we're going to talk about the new content update we just got uh, released today, the notification in our inboxes, and most likely we're going to have something coming through either today or tomorrow. Uh, you may see already on our uh, character deck and everything like that, so just going to go over it real quick and just give you that insight on what I think about the game so far and on these new updates. So, first things first, we're going to get Pegasus and Hermes, they're from the new or from the old uh, Hercules movie. So we're finally gonna get Pegasus, the winged horse, and Hermes, the god of uh, speed. We're gonna get him in, we're gonna have them available. They're gonna be available on the notes. We'll go over that in a second. And uh, we're also gonna get Mother Knows Best event, which is Mother Gothel. We're gonna finally get her available, another villain character to the group, which is a great thing, because I really think that we're really low on villains, and this is gonna be a really cool uh, aspect for the game hopefully she comes out well you obviously can see the details of her in the character deck but i'm choosing to postpone looking at any of that because i don't have her unlocked but i'm excited to try to get her in this event now we're gonna get a rapunzel pass holder season coming up a lunar new year celebration uh which is gonna be really exciting i'm hoping that we get something maybe we have those chests where we get those little coins and we can get extra stuff like we've had for the winter and for also the Toy Story and the Halloween when it first started. We're gonna get King Triton's Tower back and we're also gonna get the uh, Spectral Standoff which is probably the mythical one that we have um, the, the Horn King in the cover page and to get some more stones. And then we also have the Dynamic Duo when soon. I uh, don't remember which one the dynamic duo one is, if it's the Buzz Lightyear, so you can get alpha runes and beta runes. I'm not sure if it's that one, but it may be something else. But anyways, let's move on. So we're going to get Hermes. It's going to be a speedy support to provide quantity over quality offensive effects. And I would imagine this sounds more on a, a duration aspect. So maybe he'll provide offensive up, he'll provide crit chance, he'll provide something where... Um, maybe on uh, offensive down to a character for a longer duration of time. Something that doesn't require like the normal mundane stuff that we get one or two turns. It may be like three turns or four or something like that. So I would imagine something to that effect or, or something else. We'll see. I'm not looking at their character deck builds yet until I have them unlocked so I can make a video and show you guys to see. Pegasus is gonna be an unconventional defense character that takes hits for teammates and brings fight changing swings to the battle. So I'd imagine it's probably like he's gonna have a lot of counters uh, or redirects. So he's gonna have some taunts. He's probably gonna have a counter involved in there where he could dish out damage at the same time as he could take the damage. So you might gonna need some a defensive stone or maybe even the health stone so you could get last a little longer on the battle. At least that's what I think. But he sounds like a pretty solid defensive character. We'll see in, in gameplay. But uh, where we're going to get them is in the Grand Campaign in 3B, which is a pretty easy uh, of stage to go to to unlock Hermes. So you probably could get him a lot faster uh, for Hermes. And then on the Hero Campaign, same thing, 3C for Hermes, which is going to take away the Jengle the Clown. So uh, you might want to start doing that if you haven't already. And hopefully you had him leveled up uh, as you played the game. Uh, at Hero 5B, we got to have Pegasus, who's replacing Mordu. So they were moving uh, Mordu to 6B in Heroes to remove Shere Khan. Um, all right, that's weird. Uh, villain campaign, they're going to put Pegasus there at 6B, replacing Scrooge McDuck. I think that does a little too high, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go real quick into the to the deck and show you what how many tokens you're going to need to get them. So let's see real quick. So we go down to the deck. You already will see this in your group. So we have Gothel here, which requires 80 tokens. You got Pegasus here that requires 80 tokens so they can get at level four. And then we have Hermes at level two with, um, with his 25 tokens. So um, I'm really surprised we haven't gotten the Zeus yet included into this event uh i'd imagine that's probably something after gothel that we're gonna have a zeus event particularly so that you can get his tokens because you know you can't have these two other characters without zeus 
Uh, and plan that this 10 tokens that it's stating here is not going to be 10. And most likely it's going to be 4 or 5 uh, because they usually have changes. And when other characters were on this deck was at 10. In the beginning, if you watch my previous episodes, you would have seen that they had changed it once they were released to the more accurate time frame. This 10 was usually when you first start off the game uh, back in the day. So uh, that's really all I have. And if you want more, actually one more thing, you probably could go into your events. And here you can see Mother Knows Best, the event. And you can actually take a look at it real quick. Uh, maybe. Nope. Oh yes, here we go. So we're gonna have some tokens involved with this, with Mother's Knows Best. Uh, it's basically similar to all the other ones that we have. You get the tokens and you can get the chest and unlock them there. What are the requirements? You need at least one wild character with one star. Okay, not bad, it's pretty simple to do. It goes all the way to nine. So you gotta get to level seven with at least five wild characters. And for me, I already have five uh, at level six. So I'm pretty good, I'm going up to six, but I need to get to the next one up uh, at seven, which I only have a few, but not a lot. So that's gonna be some a project for me on that aspect. And then, yeah, here's the chest. I didn't see it before. So there's the chest that you could get all these other characters, which I imagine is probably gonna be wild characters because uh, Pocahontas, Shere Khan, and Scar, which are pretty r difficult characters to get, uh, especially Scar, it, it, it's only, they're wild characters, so I imagine that's where we're going to go from there, so really excited to see this new characters coming out, and I can't wait to, to show you guys once I have them available to play and everything like that, so thanks so much guys for watching, really appreciate you taking the time, hit that like and subscribe button below, and talk to you guys soon, bye!